and I know it was dug around a little bit in the TRC, but nobody yeah. got anywhere conclusive with it. Uh, and what I was told by Hank Heslinger, who's the who's the white by in, Hank Heslinger, who's the white policeman in the film, okay, who is who is brought into the operation and who's um, still alive and who's still alive, um, and he was sent in 1994 to go and talk to Joey Richardson in jail when he was in the maximum security um, jail. Mm. Um, and what they discovered when they went there was that Jerry said, yes, I, we know, I killed Stompy, and I killed him because he had found out that I was an agent. Um, and I killed him so that um, I could cover my tracks. A 12-year-old! What did it I matter? Know, but the point I'm trying I mean, to why would he kill a 12-year-old because he discovered that he was an informant? Because he, what he knew was that Jerry, there was a huge shootout at Jerry's house where two very senior cadres of MK... I placed them killed. there. I know, you placed them there. I the placed them there uh, as I was placing all the underground Absolutely. activists. Absolutely. But yeah. So you placed them there for safekeeping, and they for got, safekeeping, yes. They got killed, and they got killed because Jerry Richardson was paid thirty thousand rand in order to give the information that that's where they were. Yes. Okay. Now, when the white policeman comes to um, to interrogate, well, not to interrogate, to to talk with him in the in jail in 1994, Jerry says, "I was owed thirty thousand rand for that." Information that you were right. I was ne he was owed that by the state, which was in effect the apartheid state, mm. should have paid him and never did. Well, the policeman now in 1994 went back, checked their records, found this to be true, and then paid him in 1994. He was paid, he was paid, and because he was, I don't believe that. And because he was in jail... When he was in jail, what did he do with the money? Exactly. Well, that was the point. Because he was in jail, he said, I can't spend this money, so instead, will you buy me a diamond solitaire so I can give a it... A diamond? A diamond engagement ring, solitaire, so that I can give it to my fiancée, this woman I have fallen in love with. Since was that woman in jail or where? I, I have a suspicion... But he didn't mean Falati. I think he meant Falati. Because they were lovers with yeah, Falati. Exactly, exactly. So in the film, when you see Jerry Richardson get out of that armoured car, when he's going into the TRC, yeah. he's carrying the book, that book that was written, which that very damning book that was written with the Katiza Kebukuri. Yes, I mean, it was it. written by the security branch. Right, well... Yeah. That book, why is he carrying it? He's been in a maximum security jail. He's carrying it because Kolis was has given it to him because she's also carrying it when she comes into the TRC and she shouts at you saying that you're a murderer, etc. So there's an enormous story here that I would have... And there he goes to, to die. Yeah, and then he goes to die. But he was paid, and he was paid in 1990. So this other policeman is still alive? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. You must give me his particulars. <laughs>